And we're live. Welcome. Welcome, everyone, to the finale for Go Format Championship number 10 here. My name's Mascus. Hopefully, I'll be joined by some other commentators a little bit later. We are going to be watching the top four of Go Format Championship number 10. In the bracket here, let's pull it up actually for everybody. We're going to be watching first John Wick and Lucas uh, Gustafsson. Winner of that is go that's going to be uh, losers semis, losers semifinals. Winner of that is going to be facing uh, Viffer in losers finals, and then the winner of that is going to have to have a task ahead of them playing SDL Killa in grand finals. Now all four of these competitors have qualified for the world championships of goat format. Should be held at the end of October. A prize pool of over three hundred dollars already, and still growing. So we'll see if these duelists are ready or not. We might have to wait for a little bit here. We saw a good healthy mix yesterday of Warriors, Anti-Meta Warriors, and different takes on Chaos decks. A lot of them were more geared toward a Chaos Control variant. A lot of people picked up on playing uh, Dark Mimic Level 3, along with Scapegoats and Metas. Uh, but another healthy amount of them were also just playing Chaos Warriors as well. Still, nonetheless, Chaos Sorcerer. Probably the most popular card in the tournament. Currently, I'm ch I have the first two deck lists up on my screen. I am just finding the other three here. So the top four is consisting of three Chaos variants and one Burn deck. <laughs> so uh, John Wick is playing a... Chaos Control style deck, very teched out, interesting card choices in the main, while Lucas is, um, while Lucas is playing a Chaos Control deck as well, but it's more of like a standard Chaos Control deck, not a lot of, uh, of spicy decks in, in the main here. Viffer, who's waiting for them in Losers Finals, is playing a burn deck, uh, sort of like the Jinzo and Tonic style burn that we saw uh that we saw earlier in the Go Format Championship series. A little bit more of a refined list. And has a, a conversion side. And then sitting in the finals, SDL Killa, Grand Finals, SDL Killa has a teched out uh, Chaos Warrior list here. So we're going to get right into the game. Good luck to both the duelists here. They have a long road ahead of them if they want to win the, the tournament. I want to thank everybody who's watching in the chat today. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream yesterday, if you were there yesterday for it. But if you weren't, welcome today. And once again, good luck to both these duelists. Hopefully we can get some incredible games between the two. Incredible games throughout the whole day. John Wick's going to go first, opting just to set a card and pass it back to Lucas. Draw on the six. Lucas, Lucas might have some options here. 
Let's go to summon a Sangan. Give him a little scratch to the face. That's 1,000 points of damage coming through. See if uh, John Wick wants to block that with some scapegoats. John Wick likes not to. Just going to take that the little scratch there from Sangin. John Wick drawing for turn. Discard and Thunder Dragon. Going to get two of them out of the deck. Follows up with a tribe infecting virus. I doubt he's going to elect to use the effect just to get rid of Sang in here. Probably just summoning tribe as a beater. Yeah, going to walk over Sang in. Luke is going to go grab Sinister Serpent. And in the end phase, we're going to get an MST. Gets rid of that Ring of Destruction. John Wick's going to opt not to use it on a stride. Set in Sinister, making meta. And there goes an out to Metamorphosis. Or, sorry, an out to Thousand Eyes Restrict. Thousand Eyes Restrict's going to take that Drive Infecting Virus. Swing in for 16. Sean Wick at 54. Almost 50% of the life points gone for John Wick. He's going to set a monster, then set two to the back row pass. Luke's going to draw for turn, add back that Sinister. Got to remember, you got that Sinister in the graveyard. Put it back in your hand. You don't want anything bad happening to it. You don't want no Kaikos coming around. You don't want to get disappeared. Main phase one, Luke is going to set. Then he's going to go into the battle. Test the waters here. Just a mimic. Going to drop her for the effect. John Wick's going to get a premature burial. A lot of people have been cutting uh, revival spells from their chaos decks. But these chaos control decks, they play, they play really good cards, like Drive Infecting Virus, for example. <laughs> Except we can't get Drive Back, because we got, got it taken by the Thousand Asterisk here. John Wick's just going to get Thunder Dragon back instead. Going to use Metamorphosis on the Thunder Dragon here. think that might be Reaper on the Nightmare. Oh, it's Dark Balter. So, it's an interesting line. Yeah, Balter's wording is just a poor wording here. It says that when a normal spucker is activated, negate the effect by paying 1,000. So to the uninformed, the untrained eye, it looks like this is a mandatory effect, but it's actually not. 
I don't, I don't believe the text has ever been updated. It might have been, but... The effect and negate for Balter and Ryu Senshi are both optional. You don't have to negate the effect there. So Book of Moon, main phase, targeting Thousand Eyes Restrict. I'm going to set that down. Going to summon a tribe of his own on Lucas' side. Going to try to swing in, but Regeki Break is going to take care of the tribe infecting virus. Can't flip up that that thousand eyes because it was booked again by uh, by John Wick. So Faith is going to come up here, get back a book of moon, swing over the thousand eyes, but we're going to get hit by Mirror Force. Now I think that was a crack by John Wick. He did have the option to Book of Moon. But instead elected to just let the Faith die. Because Lucas would have just flipped up Thousand Eyes Restrict and took that Faith anyway, so he just lost Book of Moon. Uh-oh. Now I'm glitching. Let me exit out of the game. Can't have any of that during the finals here. Find them again. Just a visual glitch. Dueling Book's a great website. Now Lucas has an, is in like an awkward position here. He's getting rid of the Thousand Eyes for Thunder Dragon. Knows that there's another Thunder Dragon in the hand. I guess it's not an awkward position. I just don't love having my two Thunder Dragons. Why does this website want to fail on us? We got 23 people watching. We don't need any of this nonsense. Like I was saying before, card in hand is, for John Wick is just a Thunder Dragon. He keeps setting stuff to the back row, trying to either bluff out the opponent or their actual traps. Yeah, like there's a Book of Moon here. We knew one of them was the Book of Moon, right? And Luke's just going to send another to the back row, or to the front row. Chaos Monster off the top for John Wick. But it's BLS is going to be able to deal both the monsters here. It's Chaos Sorcerer, he's probably just going to have to attack the, the Thunder Dragon. Hey, Ferris Star, thanks for joining us. And a Metamorphosis coming down. That wasn't his normal summon for the turn because he set the Sinister last turn. Ooh, and Kaiko just ripped off the top. DD Warrior Lady's going to pick up the, the Chaos Sorcerer, but Kaiko, what a great top deck. This is one of the, the techs that uh, John Wick is playing here.
It's Kaiko, the Ghost Destroyer. It's going to get rid of Sinister Serpent and Trap Infecting Virus, and it's going to shut down Chaos Monsters from being played with its Floodgate effect here. Set card for Lucas. We'll see if it's anything relevant. Looks like it's not. Kaiko's just going to destroy more, more ghosts. Oh, but Snatch Steel right off the top for Lucas. Hey, I mean, it was a swingy back and forth game. Both of them were essentially top decking. And that's just how it rolls sometimes. We're going to get into the sideboard here. Looking at the sideboards, I mean, I'm not sure what Lucas is going to be bringing in. He's got access to... to I want to really reveal it in case they're watching, but we are on a little bit of a delay. Say this, that the sideboards between the two, Lucas has a more fairly standard one. Looks pretty. But John Wick's got some options. Lots of one ofs and John Wicks here. Toolbox of cards that he could bring in. And we're going to get started on the game, too. John Wick's going to go first again. Draws for turn. T-set, go. How's Lucas going to respond? Lucas asking for permission to go into main one, just in case there's a trap dust shoot. Pot agreed. Love to see it. My speakers are currently on. Apparently not. Let me try again. Oh, gosh. How about this? Let me put some headphones on so I can actually hear Roust. <laughs> you want to try to talk again, Roust? I 
I still can't hear you. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I know you can I know you're coming through on the stream. You're not coming through at all. Try try talking again. Yeah, I'm not picking you up. Apologies for technical difficulties here. Looks like some Gravekeeper spies are coming through. So is TT Meta Grace of Charity Breaker put Spy away? Must have drew Spy a little bit later. Or Spy was already set before. Yeah, Spy was set before on the first turn. We'll try to get Rouse on figure out what his issue is in a minute. So scapegoats came up, we got Thunder Dragon, then we got Graceful. Lovely pair, we love to see it. Book of Moon on the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Lucas still has options. Sacrifice that uh, Thousand Eyes that he just summoned to put a Dark in the Graveyard. Summon the Thunder Dragon. That could set up a, a Chaos. And Lucas is writing down what's in John Wick's hand after he saw it from the Trap Dust Shoot earlier. It's Torrential Tribute, Meta, Graceful Charity, and Breaker. That breaker can come down, break break the back row. If Lucas doesn't have anything to follow up with, just sitting on like a bunch of monsters or something, hypothetically. John Wick showing that he's not going to fire off Graceful Charity if he doesn't have something that he wants to discard to it. And yeah, like I was saying earlier, Thunder Dragon coming down. Going to try to attack over one of these spies. And two more back row are being added to Lucas' side. It's going to make the breaker a little bit worse. But we get another trap dust shoot for the trouble. We're going to see what card is in John Wick's hand. What new card just got added? Looks like it's BLS. This is actually not the best. Not, not a amazing choice for Lucas here. BLS is probably like one of the worst cards that he could have he could have found. It's gonna elect to to put it back there. Sorta of have to, but I feel like when you when you're trapped us shooting in that spot, you're if you already know that there's a breaker there, you're trying to get rid of it. And we're going to see a set card from John Wick.
Lucas taking taking some time to think here. He's got an issue here. He's got more monsters on the on the board than his opponent. He knows that there's a torrential tribute down. He's got to find a way to play around it. And snatch deal, that's a way to play around it. Getting another monster here. Gonna try to attack in for 28. It's a virtual 18. John Wick's just gonna gain a thousand from Snatch Deal anyway. John Wick's gonna finally fire off the Graceful Charity here. He's got to just find something. He's got to dig for it. Discarding Regeki Break. Discarding Metamorphosis. Breaker's going to be the normal summon here. Looks is going to take a time to think about it. So now all the cards in John Wick's hand are unknown to Lucas here. Now, what does Breaker break? You can break the Snatch deal. Get your Grave Keeper Spy back. Put it in a defense. Or you can break one of the back rows to take a 50-50. Or you can not break it all. Try to attack over a Thunder Dragon. Definitely options here. Yeah, and it's unfortunate because all those options lose to Pokemon. <laughs> Lucas going in the standby, passing the priority in the draw phase. That's going to let John Wick show up a trap dust shoot. We're going to get a look at what's in Lucas's hand. He's got a Sinister Serpent, Heavy Storm, Tsukiyomi, and Dekoichi, the Battle Enchanted Locomotive. Well, Lucas is goat locked. He can't summon any of these monsters here. One of them's going to get spun away. And even if he does try to summon one of these monsters, it's all, they're all probably going to get uh, Torrential Tributed.
Let's get rid of Deco there. I probably would have got rid of Sukiyomi. Deco definitely makes a lot of sense, though, because when you open up that monster slot, you don't want to get a set there. You can't out the set Deco. But I would just have the out of the set Deco. <laughs> Lucas is going to flip Spine, not going to search, showing that he doesn't have any Gravekeeper's monsters in the deck. Spy is going to hit the Sinister Serpent. John Wick must have drew. For a turn. We probably would have seen it discarded with Graceful Charity the last turn. And another set here. Just trying to chump block. And Lucas doesn't want to commit another monster to the board. Doesn't want to get torrential. Does have the Heavy Storm, but that would have gotten rid of the uh, the back row on Lucas' side, so it would be a negative Heavy Storm for him. Tries to attack again, thinking it's a Sinister Serpent. But this time it's Magician of Fate. It's going to get back Grace of Charity. And then one more set card uh, to the Monster Zone. Passing Pryo in the standby phase and draw phase for that one. We're going into main phase one. Probably going to see that Graceful Charity get fired off. Charity's going to be discarding Sinister, of course. Which, I mean, if, if John Wick wanted to try to play, he could have kept Sinister, summed it, then Torrential. Traded his two cards for Lucas's five monsters on the board. But instead, we're going to get rid of a Tsukiyomi off of our Graceful. Kaiko's going to come down. Try to attack it into the Great Hero Spine. Attack's going to be successful. Kaiko's going to banish. What do we take here? Yeah, take the only Dark Monster and one of the Thunder Dragons. Main Phase 2. Big BLS coming through. Going to banish that face down. It's possible that it's the Tsukiyomi. Or the Sinister. Sinister would be huge. That was a deco. Oh, I put the Tsukiyomi back, so it had to be either deco or, or sinister, at least from the cards we knew of. No, I'm wrong again. He put the Deco back. He didn't put the Tsukiyomi back. So Lucas is locked out of the... Uh, out of Lights and Darks in the Graveyard. But he's got the Tsukiyomi here. He's going to be able to shut off the Kaiko. Attack into it. And end the turn. Yeah, John Wick was never going to Tarantula there. Wasn't afraid of that. And Pot of Greed, John Wick's side. 
Lucas had the early pot of greed. Got up in cards earlier in the duel. But some trap does shoots. Even though the that the he was able to trap does shoot John Wick twice, knowing what what John Wick had, wasn't able to stabilize and play around everything. That torrential tribute's just looming large here for Lucas. Gave John Wick a lot of time to to come back here, fire off graceful charity, get it back with the with the faith, and then fire it off again. Just seeing a lot more cards than Lucas has. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we're here now. Great. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, Scully's here as well. I think he's just I, fixed his. Mic I think too. I think my computer just like it updated last night and just reset all my settings. So Discord's really bad for that. <laughs> it, uh, reset a load of settings. All well, the time. thank you guys for joining. We got Rouse and Scully now after technical difficulties. <laughs> Tell me. What game is this? Is this game two at Lucas's favor? This is game two. Lucas is already up a game. Yeah, that's what I thought. Started cool. off really strong, but just doubled, got double dust shoot on John Wick, but just hasn't been able to capitalize. Just been trying to play around this torrential tribute and already sent back BLS with a trap dust shoot before, but now it's just on the board taking control. The dust shoot, the dust shoot kind of hurt him too because he dust shooted a spy back when John Wick opened his only two spies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the first dust shoot. And then that second dust shoot, he was trying to get the breaker, but when he saw BLS, he basically was forced to take it because if he would have just fired off Graceful Charity and hit a light and dark, I mean, it would have just been over. He did something got goat lock himself as well, didn't he? Yeah, that too. He's, I rarely see him do that, actually. But it just happens, doesn't it, sometimes? I mean, he had the out to Breaker face down. Like, Book of Moon was going to be able to, to pick up whatever Breaker was going to try to do. Look at that question. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's what I do all the time. I just say, okay, I mean, that's that, that's that. I mean, he could be lying, John Wick. There is a chance. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I doubt it. You can you would just check the log, I suppose. John Wick did do a good job of holding off on saving that graceful until it was a uh, absolutely crucial, yeah, worthwhile and playing around. By the time those dust shoots were done and the graceful went off, Lucas didn't have all that much information on him anymore. Mm. Yeah, he discarded. He he correctly identified um, that meta was the only card that Lucas knew. Besides Breaker, so he had to discard that one. God. Oh, <laughs> look at them They're just telling each other what they've got. <laughs> okay. Well, here's Breaker coming down. Let's see if he's right. No Nobleman's resolved this entire game so far. They're the bottom two cards for both players. Mm. Not a lot of settings been going on. 
Just mainly serpents. This is a uh, loser semifinals. What misclicking end turn? It happens. Sometimes when you're on Dueling Book, it uh, you click like the accept the turn button, you know, to like make it your turn, and it doesn't go right away. So you try to click it again, and then it just ends your turn. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Great website, love it. Dueling Book, it's better than nothing. <laughs> God, I don't start this conversation. <laughs> it's actually better than a lot of shitty, even shittier. Yeah, I I am of mind with you, to be fair. Like, I think it's very serviceable for, you know, what it is. If it, just, are... if it just did all the things that it wants to do better, I'd have no issue with it. So, uh, Go Format World Championship is going to be over uh, over Zoom, right? <laughs> going to be no, remote we're actually, we're actually going to play... Uh... On uh, a AOL instant messenger. On AIM, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Magician of faith. Well, there's the knock for you. Now nah, that's sinister serpent. No, I'm wrong. I'm wondering how many. I haven't looked at any of these decks yet, so I don't know what's in store. Um. But I'm wondering if Lucas plays three. No. He must have known that that was Magician of Faith when he noblemaned. Oh, he hoped. I mean, if it's not, John Wick's been setting Sinister a lot. So you just hit Sinister and you're you're happy with that. I mean, at this point, you you don't care too much about a Sinister. He's got Thunder Dragons in hand, only 15 cards left of the deck. I would care when it's turning into Thousand Eyes Stray. <laughs> it's going to be another Sinister, though. So Lucas still has BLS plus Chaos Sorcerer, could only summon one. John Wick, we know, plays Premature Burial and has BLS Live and Grave. Yeah, that's correct. Does he play Call of the Haunted? We haven't Do seen that. It doesn't look like he does, but he's got some other ways of recursion, I believe. It's a Setsuki, because he had double. Well, the darks are loaded now. I mean, John Wick could drop, like, a large variety of cards between the main and side deck. <laughs> that Lucas could not really prepare for. Yeah, I, re I really like John Wick's tech choices that he has in, in the main, as well as the just like random one-ofs in the side that he has that just Covers are very powerful stuff. cards. Thousand Extra Strix is just going to sit here, look pretty. Well, when you deal with 
two Sukis, now you're pretty much just telling them you have to summon a cast monster. So the interesting thing about like the control matchup is that it's got the it's got the dimension of like the cheap answer in Thousand Ash Restrict, as well as the more like committed answer in in the Chaos Sorcerers and the and the BLSs, right? So this spot here now, Lucas does have Sinister to try to just dip over the Thousand Eyes. Yeah, because Mirror, Mirror Force is gone. Mirror Force is gone. So is Torrential. Gone. However, John Wick has not played Duo. And, or a Chaos Sorcerer of his own. And all the Thunder Dragons from Lucas are gone. He hasn't played Snatch Deal either. Mm -hmm. Probably Scapegoat set too, so Lucas wouldn't want to put a second monster on the board, necessarily. However, you can't just leave a set Thousand Eyes, so you gotta decide one thing or another to play. Yeah, two metas gone. If he has the other one, he could just end phase goat. Find the, the, the thousand eyes. He could also meta into Senshi here. I meant for John Wick's side. Oh, okay. But if Lucas has a meta here, actually, Dark Blade would be really good to summon. Yeah, that would be a good one. Oh, Goats would have to yeah. block in that case if he does have it face down. Not necessarily. It actually wouldn't even turn off Chaos because Thunder Dragon in hand and there's four darks. Well, he's going to force out whatever that is now. He said it was scapegoat, right? That's what, that's what he's thinking. And that's what it is. Then why did he heavy that? I feel like that's... Unless he's got, like, game and he's able to get rid of all of this. I don't see... What? <laughs> well, he could goat lock him here. Just not attack. Doesn't deal with the Thousand Eyes. He might have ring. Ring BLS in hand. That still doesn't get rid of. That's not winning though, is it? Really? If it wasn't, if it wasn't scapegoat, he didn't know it was scapegoat. I just assumed a scapegoat. Yeah, that's he... that's everybody's guess. <laughs> yeah, but like you can see in the chat, he put yeah, you've got torrential tribute and scapegoats face down. Like if he thought that was it, it was he was he really just willing to take the chance, take the risk because. Okay, well, main phase two meta. Taking a goat. Puts Lucas down the two cards in hand. Not going to set anything in the back row either. So very vulnerable to duo. John Wick's just got a full grip. I mean, we know the two of them are Thunder Dragons and Sinister's hiding in there as well. Yeah, and I mean, cards that you wouldn't want to see right now, like Spy, Kaiku, and Breaker are all in the grave already. He's got to have some something live in that hand. I think Lucas was just... Felt like, oh, if I throw a Thousand Eyes on the board... It's got to do, he can only, and he can only deal with one of the big threats here. At least I have something, you know. It does make it so that like meta is at least not just a one card answer. To yeah. The... Although if you if you held it, it's like what's worst case you're taking. I guess he's mostly afraid of Chaos Sorcerer. Yeah, because Chaos Sorcerer can it can just sit there and, and banish things for days. Uh, there's snack steal, gonna steal some lunch money. That was um I was thinking that when you were talking about Dark Blade, like Senshi was probably 
needed to prevent exactly what happened here. Yeah, that's a good point. Not, not that he ever went for <laughs> went for Senshi anyway. Just uh, something to consider. So he has the option of tributing for Thunder Dragon here, or he has the option of meta for Dark Blade. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I think he's going to do that. It's going to turn him off of. Well, that does put. So now you have to decide: Do you want to turn off Darks or remove Sinister? Or yeah, I guess. You, well, you could turn off lights. Yeah, you could just turn off lights. Right? Oh yeah, his other his other thunders. I was thinking his thunder. He had a thunder in hand. Yeah, that's true. So you can turn off lights and uh, get rid of sinister. That's great. That's what, yeah, that's there what he I is. Do. Chaos sorcerer. Uh, Dark sinister, blade, the dragon sinister. knight. I think this is the nail in the coffin for Lucas now. To be honest. John Wick also still has not summoned a monster. Doesn't look like he's going to summon a monster. He's just going to get 22 here. And you say he runs premature and that hasn't been seen yet. Yep, electing to get rid of the Sinister Serpent. Shut him off the lights with the Thunder Dragon. And then, yeah, Chaos Sorcerer, just in case any funky shenanigans come up. Getting that Chaos Sorcerer back. And there's a set card. You do have to consider in a spot like that, though, is my opponent's deck more likely to play a Return or a Premature Burial or Call the Haunted? Well, your opponent's deck is more likely to concede there. Now, was that game next turn just from a straight attack from? No, I think Lucas is at... Um... Around four thousand ish. Could have been under three. So he needed another monster. If that wasn't like big enough than like a thousand, I don't think. No, he was uh Lucas at four thousand exactly. His spirit was just broken. <laughs> What's Dark Blade? Twenty two hundred? Yeah, twenty two. He needed uh, eighteen. Getting on to game three here. Lucas is likely going to elect to go to first. So yeah, the only play that I think that could have made that different would have been if he made, I guess, Ryu Senshi. Yeah, but if, yeah. if he makes Ryu Senshi there... Then Thousand Eyes comes out. Yeah, Thousand Eyes could come then, out. He could have Chaos. Lucas still is still is sinister, at least. Well, he yeah. could... What he could do is he could snatch steal attack because he took a token, take the 2000, and then take three Usenshi. Oh, wait, no, he didn't. He couldn't do that. The Thunder Dragon Pot Agreed T set. You like saying Pot Agreed? It's a good opener. Yeah, Luke's probably feeling pretty good now. Graceful Charity, though. That might be a strong signal. I think it's a weak signal. Unless he already has the Sinister. Strong signal of a bad hand is what I was going to say, but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here's Kaiku. Got a nobleman. Yes, he does. That smug... 
That smug jerk coming out there, getting rid of the train. Both of them going to banish some from the deck. Just kidding, John Wick's not going to have any. And Kaiko's going to come in. We'll see if it connects to the dome, and it does. Gonna get rid of that Thunder Dragon. So what do you think is set right now, then, uh, Lucas's side, that that Kaiku got through? Uh, good question. Book, Book of Moon? Moon? Could be yeah, the Torrential. Was... Might be Book of Moon. Torrentals, I guess, would be the... But why? I, I just don't see Lucas setting Torrental with the Dokochi. Yeah, I don't see that either. It's pretty weak. Could be Book, could be... Yeah. MST, nah, it's not MST. Could be a bluff. I think storm. it's storm. Well, he would have had to discard last turn if he didn't set a bluff. That's true. Yeah, I mean, it probably. I think like it's either heavy storm or uh, what was the other one, book of moon. I think it could be a meta or anything at this point. Yeah, and if he, if he didn't have he anything didn't to to... to get run over there, like if he couldn't run over the Kaiko, it just didn't feel worth it to book of moon. Just was fine with taking. The Thunder Dragon yeah. out because you could just discard a Thunder Dragon if you needed the light anyway. Yeah, that's true too. So this is um, classic. He's baited out the Dekoichi so he can set Magician of Faith uh, this turn and capitalize on it. Yeah, you don't you don't always want to set the Faith first. Yeah, I have no doubt that Lucas definitely had like Magician of Faith in his hand to turn one, but didn't use it. And here's Graceful Charity. This is very powerful. It's a lot of cards in the hand for Lucas. It's going to be going up to... I mean, he's already seen almost half his deck. Yeah, it looks like eight cards, right? About nine? Nine cards. He's seen eight more cards than John Wick has. And there's a snatch deal of his own. Going to try to take Geico. Thanks, Geico. Well... Only a sorcerer in John Wick's grave. No dark in the grave still for Lucas. Kaiko's gonna punch in. Still not happy to get rid of the dark. Still happy to shut off the graveyard from chaos. Yeah, not the worst attack to take though, because Kaiko's at least a dark on the board for you still. And it's a, only a virtual 800 here. I guess you could. I guess can't Tsukiyomi. That'd be not very smart. Just gonna set a monster back row pass. Possibly another Magician of Faith set. You know, I probably I think it probably is, to be honest. <laughs> John Wick setting a card main phase here. Another card in the back row. And just going to pass it back. Can't deal with the monsters on the board right now. We'll get to see what that flip may be. Or we may see a, a torrent or dust you coming out. Apparently not. And there's the mimic here. I'm going to draw a card. So we know Lucas, with this many cards in hand, has to have some assortment of Book of Moons and Metamorphosis. <laughs> would, uh, would make sense, yes. Swing well, it in with the treasure chest. He should have attacked with the Kaiku first. Because now John Wick has the option to take 100 and then play Scapegoats. That he's going to mirror force. I think we're definitely going to see some Book of Moon now. Eh, seems likely. 
Yep, just gonna protect Mimic. <sighs> Let's set another monster next to it and keep that nice board presence. It's hard to see um, Lucas losing now, to be honest. I know it's well, still early days, but... It is too bad that John Wick already had to burn Graceful, because like Thunder Dragon Graceful would be his way to like come back in this game right now. And it's not the strongest start, unfortunately. Here's a snake coming down. Oh, and we got Torrential. Just gonna hit him with hit the... a magician? Alright, that's a great Torrential. Yeah, but that puts Dark in the graveyard for Lucas here. Yeah, that's the issue. Now the pressure is going to come down. Two of the big power traps are gone. Scapegoat is going to be John Wick's. Uh... Oof, and the Sangin is going to just... Force yeah, some damage into. Scratch the face here. This is rough, man. <laughs> a jump wick. Yeah, you yeah, do just... not want to be saying in there. He'd be happier with the cast sorcerer put on board. Just Lucas showing, hey, I still have all these value creatures left. I'm just going to summon them. Yep, going to pick away at your cards. Make and... you deal with it. Pick and away your life points out. where he can, nickel and dime you, and then just kill you over Drop the top. Big boys. Yep. Yep. Saying me and another dark on board is also not good news for John Wick either. Like, there's the Kaiku, but uh, yeah, but I mean, we're gonna yeah. give you a Tsukiyomi, <laughs> and <laughs> and of course, there's four lights in the grave. Rough, it's an awkward spot, but we're gonna torrential anyway. What if it's the only way of getting rid of Kaiku then? I I do it. Well, we know we play Su Suki. He had two last game, so he's gonna search a sinister. Premature burial here now from John Wick could be great. There's the Thunder Dragon main phase two. Yeah, premature burials in the graveyard, unfortunately. Ouch! Need to discard that from the graceful. Yeah, have earlier. He went for the turn one graceful to try to. Stop this from happening of noble wanted a nobleman that what he was hoped was magician of faith after the mm -hmm. opening pot graceful, but did not work out. It's just really scary when you see a pot of uh, of greed and then a set monster because most people think correctly identified that you shouldn't set the faith first, but some people will just set faith first. Uh, you almost have to assume that they did set it. Yeah, I often switch it up, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, uh, it's, 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 me. it's sort of unpredictable. Because if you because if you make the read that it's like oh that's not faith and then you're wrong and then it is like when it is faith you just get blown out. <laughs> but of course, after that, there's no end to the you know one step further predictions. Yeah, yeah. Sort of thing. So sure priests are going to come down for both players here. See if John Wick can get his in. Lucas thinking about, do I want a Book of Moon? Do I want a Scapegoat Chump Block? Do I want a Sakuretsu Armor? A Mirror Force? Or do I want a Ring of Destruction? So, 1700 damage coming down is actually a pretty good thing for John Wick. It's good for John Wick, but it... 
It's also bad at the same time. Well, he's in a spot where he's he's never going to come back in card advantage. Yeah, so one of the ways I was looking at him winning was ring BLS. Mm -hmm. But now That's he can't do that because he's at 28. That's true. The other issue now is, too, with the Sewer Priest gone, is that he... Well, he could go cast Sorcerer with the ring could actually still do it for him, but... Um, that, the, that's true. The, the Sewer Priest being gone is now no big heavy storm play is going to work out because he does play tribe too i guess but scapegoat is going to end up being an issue if he doesn't just lose like to lucas as a sewer priest right here yeah sure priest and like chaos monster would be pretty sweet there's the chaos monster Drop the sewer next to it. Hope the two sets aren't for Geki Break Scapegoat. <laughs> There's Scapegoat. That's gonna kill all four there. John Wick's going to take it. 500 left. Still got life to play with. I wouldn't call that a uh, playing around level of life. <laughs> well, he's not at zero. True, he is not at zero. <laughs> but he can't really afford anything else at this point. Heavy tribes, yep. heavy tribe snatch would be game. Great, or is my math wrong? I mean, BLS uh, off the top would just be game, no, seven, three no, thousand. Even at six. BLS and something else. Heavy BLS snatch. Heavy tribe BLS snatch. <laughs> he has two Thunder Dragons in hand as well, right? Yeah, so he's only got yeah. kind of three cards to work with. Metamorph coming down here. Do the play that we saw earlier. That we were thinking about earlier with the Ryu Senshi, I'm thinking. So it looks like he is aware that Snatch is game. Is it, well, could potentially be game. So defense as well lets you play around creature swap. Also, if there is a BLS, he can't just attack over 4,000 and then 4,000. Mm -hmm. So does this give us a read on uh, Lucas's face down? I assume it's something that can protect. I think it's scapegoat. Gonna metamorph here. Tribute. I was also thinking that if. That background, John Wick, is Regeki break. He could have Regeki... If, like, Lucas didn't have anything, he could have Regeki break the back row um, in the end phase. That oh, way he would... Yeah. That way, Just like, he would have been up. able to set up for a game shot if he had it. But John Wick's just gonna... try to take it with, that, with uh, Thousand Eyes here. Yeah, just looking at Lucas's grave, like, he did extremely well this game. Ah, <laughs> uh, but it was a Book of Moon on Lucas's end. 
Yeah, he drew extremely well, but he also did draw half of his deck, so... Oh, yeah, like, it just... Like we said, with that Magician of Faith resolving, it just never stopped rolling. Yeah. Yeah, so Book of Moon's gonna come out. That ate up the normal summon already. And there's only one card. Yeah, there's only one card that he could game. have. It's got to be like BLS or something. Chaos Sorcerer. Well, if he has BLS now, that's just like, that's a that's a very bad steal. <laughs> yeah. He can't have BLS. One of them is uh, both of them are Thunder Dragons. What do you mean? John Wick's got a. Uh, Two Thunder Dragons in the hand. He only had, like, two cards, three cards to work with. Right. Gotcha. So he's not out of it yet. If that back row is a real trap, I mean, he's still in the game. Yeah, I mean, he's everything he's got is on the board right now. He's holding on exceptionally well as, uh, as well. Like, um... That's the thing, but with these Chaos Control decks, it's like, they have that that option of going into Thousand Eyes Restrict, which is a card that demands an answer, and all you're really trading off for it is, like, your Sinister Serpent or your Scapegoat token. Like, it's not it's not like you need a Light and Dark in the Graveyard like you do with the, the Chaos stuff. No, you're just trading, you're trading off in your, in your deck, you're trading off in the hands and, like... Possibility of bricking and stuff is what you're giving up by playing meta in these decks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it works, it works great. You, you just you, but when you have it, yeah, when you have it live, you just have like a, an additional card that they have to have to out. Where those like turbo decks, it's just trying to get through your deck super fast, and but you only have like four real monsters that are that are there to to out. You know, right? Like I don't really care about Great Fever Spy that much. Like, yeah, it can poke me for a little bit, but I really just want to get rid of your Chaos Sorcerer, where in this case, it's like, oh, I have to get rid of your Thousand Eyes and your Chaos Sorcerer. It's a big ass for some decks. Now, both of them are playing, have the same mindset. They're both playing Chaos Control, so, I mean, and Lucas does have, what, he's got six cards here. He's probably going to have an out. Seven cards, my fault. He could still have BLS with this, too. Is gonna go for game here. Yeah, nobleman on the chaos sorcerer. Now this could be. Looks like it's GG. Goat. Yep, that's gonna be game. Guess that just was a bluff there. Interesting. Well, congratulations to Lucas. Moving on to the Losers Finals. Going to go up against Viffer, who's playing a very, very different deck than John Wick here. Yeah, so the last three decks are all different decks now. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't like calling SDL Killers deck a, a Chaos Warrior deck, even though it does play Chaos Monsters and Warriors. So I don't know what else to call it there. It, it does. Definitely Chaos Warrior. It definitely I mean, feels more just like an anti meta deck, though. Yeah, the, I, I, I think one Chaos Sorcerer is enough to call it. Chaos, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you, do you have more than one Chaos Monster in your deck? Yes, then you're a Chaos deck. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like, do you play one Chaos Sorcerer? Well, then, by that logic, <laughs> you're already playing Black Luster Soldier, and now you're a Chaos deck. Imagine the person who just doesn't play Black Luster Soldier and just plays one Chaos Sorcerer instead. Are you playing monsters? Because their attribute if, that you wouldn't be using if they were a different attribute... 
in your Chaos deck. All right, we're going to get into it. And if you're just joining us, this is the Losers Finals of Go Format Championship number 10. Lucas is going to go first with his Chaos Control deck. Let's see if he can... Get Viffer dead before Viffer burns him out. Viffer is on an ag ag aggressive burn deck. And Lucas is going to start off here by setting two to the back row and setting one up front. Pot of greed off the top, looks like, from Viffer. And draw up a couple cards. We've got a heavy storm. Now, Lucas is on a Chaos Control deck that plays Scapegoat. And that's not very, <laughs> that's not very good versus Viffer's deck here. Viffers plays cards like Just Desserts and Secret Barrel. It's going to punish. And Panda. And Panda as well. And so, yeah, Lucas knows the matchup. Already lost to uh, Viffer earlier in the tournament. Both of them are in loser's bracket here. Viffers only losses to SD Kill, I believe, in the, sitting in the Grand Finals waiting for the winner of this two. So Lucas knows now not to activate Scapegoat. It's unfortunate, because now that, that heavy... You know, picked up two cards for one. Which, if you're never going to activate the scapegoat, though, you kind of rather get heavy, so it counts for less damage against Secret Barrel. Yeah, yeah. Kind of unintuitive, but definitely is the right play. I'm glad to see that somebody else is picking up this uh, Jinzo and Tonic like deck as well, and it's seeing some success. It's quite nice. Hey, yeah, I mean, change of pace. Only one loss so far in the tournament. I mean, even if it is burn. <laughs> it's a real deck. I never have any issue with burn. I, I'll, I'll watch people play. Whoa! Burn. That was... He tried to play around a, a panda or a, a desk koala when said got hit with the cyber jar. <laughs> this is so rough <laughs> for Lucas. Right, this is not what you want to see. And Panda as well has 1,600 defense too, right? So only, yeah. Panda. Uh, Koala has 1,800 defense. Right, and Panda has 16, right? Yeah, Panda yeah. has 16. So, yeah, Koala's so coming out, is... Rat as well, on Viffer's side. We also see a Magical Cylinder, Justice Earth, and a Wave Motion Cannon. And Lucas is going to load his hand up with Scapegoat, Book of Moon, Thunder Dragon. Again, Thunder Dragon, not the greatest here because it's add cards to your hand. And then a Tribe Infecting Virus as well. Thunder Dragon will be able to, to get Lucas a light in the graveyard, so he will be able to summon Chaos Sorcerer sometime. But he's got to guess if he wants to attack here. 
which one isn't the koala, or he's going to be taking some damage. I think you got to just attack it and take the damage. He's going to flip it otherwise. And Lucas and... Ac actually also triggered a Sangin effect. Yeah. And you, at least you could dump the uh, the light into the grave with Tribe, the tribe yeah. the wrong one. I mean, if he attacks into, into Rat, that's great. Rat's going to probably trigger. Don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, the only reason I guess you wouldn't is if you want to keep a target in your deck for the Rescue Cat, and you know he's just going to discard the card with Tribe anyway. Mm -hmm. But it also gets you one card closer to a better card in your deck, too. Luke is getting DD Worry Lady. Not and electing attack. not to attack here. Maybe he's going to try to deal with these monsters some other way. Gonna tribute off the Thunder Dragon. Something that's also interesting to note is that Viffer plays Ojama, Ojama Trio in the main deck here. That can mess up scapegoats. Can also just mess up chaos altogether when they summon something and have two monsters, which they often want to do, just putting them up to five. Yeah, you actually want to see your tribe. Uh, fairly early against yeah. this deck. Yeah. And Ton Lucas. Cards in, Viffer, in Viffer's hand now. Lucas knows the koala is down there. So setting some cards here to take less damage. Went through all the Thunder Dragons, just failed to find on each one of them. Or failed to find on the two that he added originally. Chaos Sorcerer, not the best card in this matchup, but Metamorphosis. Is very good utility. I may have kept one Thunder Dragon in my hand just for if he has meta to be able to bring out Fiend Skull Dragon or a Balter. Yeah, Fiend Skull Dragon is pretty sick. So Koala's gonna flip up here. He's gonna deal 800. said earlier uh, yesterday that burn deck like this kind of flips card advantage on its head. It's fine with going down. As long as it's doing a lot of damage to you, it's, if it can top deck burn, it can just burn you out. However, that Cyber Jar just kind of gave a lot of advantage to Viffer. And so when the burn deck does have card advantage, it's, it feels really, really good. When they start attacking you is when yeah. you start getting worried. It's like, oh, I, I wasn't worried about how many cards they had because they all do the same thing. And then it's like, oh, wait, now it's attacking me. There's two wave motions out. And that level limit was excellent, just putting the, uh, the tribe in defense so Koala could walk over it. Now, one thorn in these decks side... Chaos Sorcerer is not the best, but Black Cluster Soldier can generate a bunch of advantage against these decks. That's right. They don't usually play a lot of outs to monsters. Kind of just defend themselves through stuff like Gravity Bind and, and Level Limit. Just pray that they can burn them out before they die. <laughs> but like these kind of decks as well, even visually you can see that Viper is making Lucas play his game. Like, when do you ever see Chaos set all these silk cards, etc.? He's definitely having to change the way he's playing. Yeah, and I mean, we know one of them is a scapegoat, which isn't optimal for Lucas Hero. And there's Didi Warrior Lady. That might deal with the Koala. If he chooses to. Two wave motions representing... About 3,000 here. Ooh, and sc Scapegoat coming out. I don't know if I like that. He could Torrental. Yeah, I think that's what he is going to do. Yeah. yeah. But he just takes 25. Takes even more here. Pretty rough. Um. Yep. Uh, 
Hmm, electing not to just desserts either. We knew we had just desserts from. He may have set a solemn or something. To yeah, it could the be. Emotions. Possibly no drama trio set. I would have just set all my burn because then, then he has to deal with one of the wave motion cannons, the one that's going to go to three. And I think he already used a breaker, so we'd have to draw like an MST or something for the heavy. I would not have just dumped all my thunder dragons. Well, here's Graceful Charity Pot Agreed. Got rid of Duo, knowing that the 1,000 life points cost is going to bite him in the butt. And Lucas is digging for an answer here. He's got to get to Heavy. At least if he has Magician now, he could be all right. Well, he had the Heavy face down. We'll see if Differ had the Solemn. Know. I think it's Ojama. Oh, Magic, Ooh, magic Cylinder. Cylinder. Interesting. That's a weird choice. That was a weird one. Up. Again, I would have had just Dessert set there. Play level limit and magic cylinder. Do you play those on the same turn? Yeah, I think so. Breaker was already gone too, so it's like they would have been mystical. That's the one thing you were worried about. Here comes Chaos Sorcerer and Deco. Face up. He's not playing around at all. He knows what he's got to do. But that Heavy Storm is gone, and Viffer has more cards than than Lucas here. But the heavy storm we did get didn't hit him to a load of chainable trap cards. That is true. So the grip of chainable trap cards in Viffer's hand may just kill Lucas here. It's very possible. Yeah, all he needs is like two Justice Earths and an Ojama Trio. There's one Ojometry, or there's the Ojometry out. Now he just needs two Just Desserts. There's one. There's one, as you say. There's the and other. Two. Exactly. Uh, yeah. A lesson to um oh hang on ring of destruction on and there's yeah. the third one gotcha yeah, okay well that was a cheeky play though i mean he was only going to take 23 then i think that could be perhaps um, a lesson to be learned if, especially as i'm assuming he's prepared the side deck but he may not have well, the issue with side decking is that he side decks into the rescue cat OTK. Yep. So you either bring in your traps to hope to negate the burn, bring in decrees or whatever have you, your spell and trap removal cards, which could then be useless against rescue cat OTK. Yeah, it's a bit of a flip. This is a when um. That was pretty much the biggest critique when me and Dale went over the deck list from when Genzo and Tonic won, was saying that his side deck didn't make sense and that he should be siding into a Rescue Cat. So it looks like that's what uh, Differ picked up on. Yeah, it just seemed like with Genzo and Tonic's list, it was like they he sort of like meshed together Rescue Cat OTK and a burn deck and just took out a bunch of cards from each Yeah. until it was when sort I... of like all muddled together. When I topped the Shonen Jump with the um, the machine wave motion skill drain burn deck, it was a very similar situation where someone topped the previous event with a deck but just had like random cards in their side deck, and then I switched it to be like giant grenades and future fusion and overload to side deck into. So sometimes you just see somebody that's like, wow, that was a really good deck, and you look at their side and you're like, this makes no sense, and you're able to kick it up another level. Yes. Well, decks aren't always perfect the first time around. It usually, mm -hmm. usually it's something where you see the strategy, and you're like, "That's really good," but let's cut off all these bad cards and play these good ones. Right. <laughs> well, I know Jinzo and Tonic 
um, he's probably he's quite stubborn when it comes to that deck. <laughs> he won't. He will never change that. But if uh, Viper wins, then you know we have the evidence to say, look, there it is. There's the better version, or not even the better version, but this one won. It's not even a the version really. The, the, I think the main decks are pretty similar. It's just the, uh, the side deck and strategy. Um, Lucas would be aware that I would assume he would be aware that the rescue cat is coming. Oh, he already lost to him, so yeah. Lucas yeah. knows the uh, the deck here. Rescue cat's just one of those fragile strategies where it's like it either is killing you. Or it's not doing anything. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It, I think I consider it like the same way of like Gravekeepers kind of, where I kind of like it as just a side deck strategy because mm -hmm. it's never going to consistently be good enough to be your main deck goal, and it's easy to side deck against stuff like that. So that's why I th I've liked how we've seen like the Gravekeepers come in recently for doing similar it's like well i don't want to play every game with necro valleys and terraformings in my deck yeah but when, it, but when it makes sense to put it in just all the all the best gravekeepers cards just hadn't been invented yet so <laughs> hey spy was there <laughs> it's it's no gravekeepers descendant no but what's descendant without spy Eh, uh, that's true so he looks like he kept some traps in just asserts burial call the haunted breaker lily and desk koala so he may not have actually uh sided into swap. cat here maybe just decided well i'm already up a game it's kind of a free game when you play these kind of decks the transition ones if you win game one whereas like well i could see what my opponent's gonna bring in i mean he's already played lucas too so that helps. yeah 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 that changes the thought process as well after the dust shoot, Viffer's just gonna T set in response. Gotta believe that's Desk Koala there. And Lucas started off the gate pretty strong. I mean, Thunder Dragon's out of the deck already from Graceful and Potagreed as well. That's exactly what the, the doctor ordered. Yeah, it's more than pretty strong. Yeah, on Possibly. top of that trap dust shoot. Could be a faith set too. Yeah, you really can't ask for a better opening hand than. Pot of greed, graceful charity, thunder dragon, trap dust shoot, huh? You know what's messed up about trap dust shoot? What's that? On the card, it's Cliff the trap remover falling for a trap. I thought he was supposed to be the trap remover. Oh, he's a monster. <laughs> but he's a trap remover. <laughs> he can also be sent back by the trap dust shoot. <laughs> it's messed up, man. And it was Magician, so yeah, literally, if you had to pick your opening hand, is what Lucas would have started with. <laughs> That's what well, I would have started he, with. He probably would have fit a duo in there if he didn't side it out. <laughs> Graceful again. If it wasn't for the Cyberjar game one, Lucas may have actually won it. Like, yeah, that, that Cyberjar just put Viffer really far ahead. The heavy storm was like very close to a comeback, but at that point it was too late. How do we say Viffer's name? Has he said? <laughs> I'm saying a Viffer. Yeah. I can't see Lucas losing this game. Cyber Jar is the only card I could see making a difference at this point. Could you imagine? Oh my god, if Cyber Jar happens. Well, Discarding it's Heavy it's Storm. Not now. Discarding Dark Ooh. Mimic. Yeah, what? Discarding Heavy Storm? That sounds like suicide. Uh, there's a Nobleman to cross out. Gonna hit that Desk Koala here. And it's the other two from the deck. That's messed up. Koalas are endangered. K 
Cast Sorcerer coming down for Lucas here. 26 on board. I think he's going to drop a Suki on me. It's going to turn his Chaos damage. Sorcerer into a Senshi. So any burn cards now, just a thousand life. Why not attack first? Oh, because he's going to... Because he's got to be a less. Heart. Gotcha. He knows that's no protection. The worst thing that it, that can happen here is just as Earths get flipped and that Lucas will take a thousand. Probably got Book of Moon too. Yeah, that'll protect Faith. I mean, Vipper's hand was just bad, even if freaking Lucas didn't open great. Hey there, Drew Magic Gaming. This is actually Losers Finals. Winner of this is going to take on SDL Killa in the Grand Finals. We'll be covering that after this game finishes up here. This is game two. Vipper's already up one. But Lucas is uh is in the prime position here to take this game two. Jeez. And the <laughs> second trap dust shoot here. At the very, very least, we're going to get rid of that injection fairy lily. Seems to be the only card in the hand. Yeah, and now Lucas knows what the new card is. Is even. And scarier. it's just another. Oh, it's just heavy storm. So that's game. And it's gonna activate the heavy storm here. Uh, it was called the haunted set. Wow, that was really bad for <laughs> Oh my he, god. If I had a bad hand on top of Lucas's ridiculously good hand. Just how it goes. So Lucas got a free game there, essentially. Luckily for him, because it, it struggles against this matchup. I mean, that's what you but mean. Question, that's what you the need sometimes. The question is now, does uh, Viffa go into Rescue Cat now? Because it looks like he ignored Rescue Cat this time. Maybe not, actually. He did, I'm well, gonna he the not. He just, unless he's the quickest side decker in the West. Well, it, it depends. If you if you've got like in your head, like I I remember when I was. I mean, playing, he like, literally has like fifteen traps that he could side out for the other card, so he could do it very quickly. But that was very, exactly, very yeah. quickly. That was even quick for quick. Mm -hmm. Vipper's gonna start here with Pot of Greed. Wave motion coming to the front, along with a back row and a set monster here. See, now if I'm Lucas, I bring in the decrees regardless. Yeah, because worst thing that can happen is that it it blocks some it blocks some burn, right? <laughs> like, well, worst thing that could happen is they you flip over a decree and then he summons a rescue cat on you and. Now your other traps don't work. But Lucas doesn't play a lot of traps in the first place, so I, I don't yeah, think Yeah, I mean, that's where the scapegoats kind of shine, is that he could just chain scapegoat there. If he feels like he's going to die to the, uh, the guys coming through. Nobleman from Lucas after some Thunder Dragon searches. All by its set. Wave motion's gonna go up. And 
And Viffer's just thinking here. I think Lucas has opened Thunder Dragon six games in a row. And that's the dream. Always have Thunder Dragon. And only, and only one. <laughs> Ceasefire is going to deny the flip effect here and burn for some damage. Not an ideal use of Ceasefire. No, nah, usually you just want to kill them. But I can see, if, like or we talked about earlier, like... if we're afraid of uh, a Magician of Faith resolving again. It's too bad he drew the ceasefire turn late to counter the nobleman too. Yeah, that would have been would have been nice. Lucas doesn't get the draw with uh with Deco, but he will swing in with fourteen. That wave motion's gonna go up to two. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I would use the ceasefire in that position, honestly. Only nobleman is in the grave. I mean I guess if he has a monster, he really wants to set like a cyber jar in hand. But you got your wave motion count one already. I'd probably try to save the ceasefire to at least deal a little more damage. Yeah, I don't particularly like using ceasefire very though. early unless I absolutely have to. Like unless I have that that read that it is the magician of faith. I like mm -hmm. to sit on ceasefire forever, and then burn them for game. Yeah, that's how you beat me. <laughs> Set to the back row and then a set monster for Viffer here. Just playing the slow game. Metamorphosis coming down. Gonna try to take this monster. Ring of Destruction though. We'll protect it. But did we see a light and dark? Could that be BLS? Ring of Destruction, I mean, it's a great removal spell. Oh, and in response to the ring, we're going to do a Torrential. Same before that. Ring of Destruction is a great removal spell for any deck, but with Viffer, we really want to just be hitting a monster with stats. Because any additional burn is going to help us here. And yeah, Lucas recognizing that if he's protecting that face down, it's got to be something good. And that Cyberjar may have got Viffer some uh, cards to work with. But it's going to be Chaos Sorcerer and Sagan coming down here. Swinging in for 20, or 33, excuse me. Putting Viffer at 33. And... Yeah, a two turn clock. Yeah, two turn clock. I mean, Viffer's got 3,000 points of damage in wave motion right here. But he's got to find another 45 somewhere within these five cards. That or he's got to stall out. I mean, is, is Last Will Cat like enough? I don't think it is. You know, I mean, what could they possibly get from that, like, Midas Radiant and the Panda? Well, he'd get two Pandas, Midas Radiant, and then, like, the third Panda, or the Wombat. If he has two last will. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just a level limit, though. Took care of the Chaos Sorcerer with the Exile Force. Well, you would last will into a, a second cat. Yeah, exactly. And Ojama Trio is going to join the party here. So locking the zones down. That gives Viffer some draws that he can get into that will win him the game. He's got double Justice Earths. Could be good enough. Justice Earths is Secret Barrel. That's about... That's not enough, I don't think. But more importantly, Lucas just has some dorks on the board. Oh so that bought him an extra turn. There's Call the Haunted. 
for the Exile Force. <laughs> in defense because of the level limit area B. Lucas can't attack over it because it's got 1,000 defense. Oh no, that is so... Oh. That's rough. Sickening. <laughs> Made phase two, going to sack for Thunder Dragon. That goes to defense. Yeah, that's that's a fine play. Summiting Giant Rat. This is it now, though. Like Lucas is losing control. He's going to lose control of this game very quickly if he can't deal with it. That's, that's just the power of... Ojama Trio in, in this deck. It, it's not the burn, really. Yeah, it just it's just the fact that you just get additional bodies on the board that your opponent can't really do anything with. It's not like Lucas can meta them off because they're level 2. Level limit in conjunction with this is preventing these tokens from just crashing and clearing some space up. Lucas already used his Torrential, so he can't clear him on his own. He'd have to summon a Chaos Sorcerer and start removing them. But all the zones are locked down. And this is just giving Viffer all the time that he needs to, to draw into some additional burn. I mean, now Secret Barrel would be doing like 22... There's a just desserts for 25. Just gonna fire that off. Oh god, not like this. <laughs> so what do we think then? I... Oh. The pandas here. And that's gonna do it. Pandas gonna Jeez. crash into one of the tokens. It doesn't really matter where it crashes into. Could attack into the Sangit as well just to deal a whole lot of damage. So that's a panda boosted up by 25. It's going to be at 33. Yeah, 33. And that's going to deal enough. Well, Great I'm showing to... by both duelists. Yeah. That was a that was a really good match, actually. That well, call the haunted to... play was so good. <laughs> I don't know if Lucas just didn't have another monster to summon there. I guess he didn't because it because of the level limit already being up. <laughs> How does it feel, Lucas? Tough break there, buddy. Good game though. Glad he's got his uh, world's invite. At least that's. Um... Yeah, congratulations <laughs> again to our top four. All of you guys have been qualified to world to the world championships to go format. If you were going to get um, third, this was definitely the tournament to do it. <laughs> so, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. So now we're moving on to Grand Finals. That's SDL Killa and his Chaos Warrior deck versus Viffer here. With the Panda Burn deck that we just saw. And we're going to hop right into it. Now, in order to win for Viffer. He's got to win two sets. So this is a best two out of three. Because SD Killa, SDL Kill is already in the winner's bracket, he's just got to win one of the best two out of three sets here in order to win the whole tournament. And SDL Kill is gonna win the uh, gonna win the rock paper scissors here. Now, SDL Kill he is undefeated in the tournament right now, and he actually knocks Viffer into losers. Let's see if Viffer can actually get retribution for the loss earlier. It's exactly like how Lucas got put into losers by Viffa. Mm -hmm. so now, see if anyone can overturn their previous results. 
SDL Killer playing Chaos Warriors, both of these decks are fairly aggressive. Um, the quality of monster for SDL Killer's deck is just way better than uh, the Viffers here. Playing stuff like Blade Knight, Kaiku, Ashura Priest, versus some dorks like Giant Rat, Panda. Graceful's going to get rid of a Snatch Steel and a Blade Knight. Snatch Steel's not going to be picking up any powerful stuff like uh, BLS. Might as well discard it if, if you're, if you're going to be using it there. Blade Knight at least puts a light in the graveyard. Trap Dust Shoot coming out. Going to put back a Desk Koala, it looks like. And it was Desk Koala... Secret Barrel, Ojama, Trio, Graceful, Wave Motion, and Ceasefire. Viffers is going to fire off that Graceful. Opting to get rid of Secret Barrel here and Ceasefire. Again, those are two cards that SDL already knew about. Sangin's going to come down. Going to try to tickle who's ever face down here. That's a Donzaluke. Love it. Love setting Donzaluke for plays exactly like this, where you just run a monster into it. Just get to discard a card from your opponent's hand now. And hits the level limit area B. That was a new card that Viffer picked up from uh, Graceful Charity. I have to take that 500 here, so still has an Ojama down and has that wave motion. Let's see if that's a card to protect Sangan. If not, it's probably going to be Ojama. A reinforcements of the army from SDL here. Going to call for help from DD Warrior Lady. That's going to try to attack Sangan. And get it out of here so Sangan can't find a friend. And Donzaluke's going to get hit with a Ring of Destruction. So we know the only card in uh, Viffer's hand is Ojama. SDL's going to think about main phase 2 here. He didn't set anything before. Or, well, he set the Trap Dust Shoot. Not, nothing in, in conjunction with Trap Dust Shoot. Wave Motion's going to tick up to 1. Viffer's just going to set two and pass. One of those is Ojama. Ninja Grandmaster here. It's an 18 body. Battle phase is going to swing in. Really unfortunate that Don's Luke actually hit the level limit. Could have been useful at this stage of the game. Panda's going to come down. Going to get boosted after activating Ojama Trio here. So that Panda's going to get... Going to go up to 28. Should be able to walk over the, the Grandmaster here. If SDL doesn't have anything to protect it.
And it doesn't look like SDL has something to protect it with. It's going to take that 1,000. And SDL actually has some cards that are kind of tricky to play with here. I'm talking about Solemn Judgment. Now, Solemn Judgment's a good card. However, you have to pay half your life points to use it. And versus a burn deck, sometimes that's not what you want to be doing. <laughs> you can pay half to not die in certain situations, but... With that wave motion on the board, STL's got to be careful that he doesn't just solemn himself in a crucial spot and then die to the wave motion. Instead, he's going to summon a Chaos Sorcerer, just get rid of that panda. And Sasuke Samurai number 4 is going to make an appearance. Attack in for 12. And Viver has an opportunity to steal this game. So Wave Motion's going to tick up to, to 3. He can launch it off for 3,000. He has just desserts and any burn spell, really, like a, a secret barrel. That should be enough. Secret barrel will do. Yeah, that should be enough because it puts him down to 26 here. Just desserts puts him down. We'll be hitting for 25, puts him down to 100. So, yeah, literally any, any points of damage here. But it's going to be enough. Has the solemn judgment. Yeah, this is where the solemn is good. Because he still's got life to play with. Doesn't matter if he's taken. If he goes down to 50, because he's just not dying here. Oh, normal that's summon really cool. attack. Okay. Oh, Is this is cool. the coin flip. Oh, <laughs> oh no, just no had man. the nobleman. And then that's it. GG. That was a great combination. That was a good, that was a great, yeah, they just needed uh, any points of damage to go through. I mean, you couldn't really set that there. You kind of just had to summon an attack and just hope your opponent didn't have it. You could have played yeah. it where, hmm, nah, I guess it doesn't matter because it's just getting booked anyway. You just try to attack over it. That was a really close game. I'm just and wondering really if, good one well. if he, if Viffer decided to just summon Koala and attack, if the Book of Moon would have went through... Or not? Like, if he if he was just like, oh, okay, I'll just take this 300. I was like, why would he do that kind of thing? And then just get burned out by, like, a Just Desserts? If he could, sh you know, make his opponent, like, try to mind game his opponent in that. Yeah, but at the same time, the wave motion cannon was face up, right? Yeah, like so like I'm saying, you didn't, you don't want anything figured they only had to play around with the Just Desserts, then we probably would have booked. But yeah, that was an interesting decision point for Viffer mm -hmm. in what order to make those plays of the sequence. Yeah, just down on cards, so wasn't a lot of opportunity to like play around anything. <laughs> just kind of had to hope your opponent didn't have it. Game two here. SDL's got side deck options like this no moon of extermination which is going to get rid of the other ojama trios but ojama trio can activate here so should the other ojama trios be exiled i believe so punished? the players Seem not to be aware of that in that case. Well, well, I don't know. Like, is it the case? Because, um, I guess it's fate. No, I don't know. <laughs> I might be wrong on that. I haven't played with uh, no moon of extermination in a while. No, me well, neither. We'll trust the person playing the card event because <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, well, we saw Miss uh, Milas Radiant come out, 
So it looks like Viffer did side. Uh, I mean, he's just got like giant Trunade, Last Whale Cat. Is, is that de dead on board? Yeah, that would be lethal, I believe. Yeah, that's how I thought. Um, so if the selected card is not face down when Nobleman of Extermination resolves, the effect of Nobleman Extermination disappears. Okay. My bad. Cool. Guess it's kind of like cross out. Makes sense. All right. Yeah, that does make sense. Got the guy are getting in. Gonna deal with that big blade knight with a bigger panda. MST for the Ring of Destruction. Didn't sign up the duo for STL. Just saying, hey, I'll take this thousand here. As long as I can get you off cards, I'm happy. And there's the Giant True Nade and the other uh, Milus Radiant. Man, just the cat deck's just... I like it when it goes off because you just feel... It feels really good to do, but... You gotta play, like, Milus Radiant in it. it. Just that's not a good card to have in your hand. Yeah, it feels like when both players trade off resources, even though SDL Killer is slightly behind on cards, I guess you could say. Quite even. Then the Warrior deck should still have an edge, I feel. Just because yeah, the just... card quality is so much higher. Exactly. Panda's big. But, I mean, he also has these stupid cats in his deck that don't really do much. wasn't like the, the cat deck we saw earlier that was playing value cards like Wicked Worm Beast, so like you could cat for those, attack, and then just add them back to your hand so that they wouldn't destroy themselves. This one's very all-in on like an OTK strategy. Um, but Panda's been chipping away at, at the life points here. Now only oh, at 18. <laughs> didn't even think, I didn't even look at that, but yeah, he's only on day 5. <laughs> So a lot of burn stuff could be, if it's still on the deck, it's it's live. Also, if Viffer does have one of those specific combinations of cards here, a Steel Killer could just be dead. Yeah, if we see a giant true nade come down, I don't like SDL's chances. Heavy Storm, just the same. But there's a Wabaku. That's cool. Side deck tech coming out here. That's really cool. Yeah, I don't see why you play that over Threatening Raw, though. Something, like... something, Sasuke, Samurai, Mystic Swordsman, something, something. No, I, I don't know. I don't get it. It's just cooler. Yugi used it. True. Did he? When? Uh, it was in the Yugi deck, so he had to have used it, right? Yep. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, you know, there's so many stuff he didn't use. <laughs> there's Injection Fairy Lily coming out. Oh. <laughs> so how much damage is this? That's 34 and 2,000. And he gains 1,000 of it back. Yeah. If he, if he elects to pay. I would not. Me neither. Absolutely not. I would attack, though. <laughs> it's worth noting that if SDL Killer did have another monster, that would have been lethal. Yeah, SDL Killer agrees. If he's going to gain a thousand, yeah, for the Snatch Steel. Heavy Storm's gone. Not going to be able to destroy that Snatch Steel there. Let's 
Trinidad would get it back for him, but if Viffer would have to find a way to kill him, because then he would just get snatched stolen again. Reinforcements of the army. Send it for Don to Luke. That's just an additional body. I think you just go for it here. Those could definitely be blanks. Or at least one of them. If it's burn, I mean... Could be the game. If it's looking at the graveyard, if it's called a haunted, he can bring back Panda. And that'll block the attacks here. At least it'll block Don. Yeah, the Lily should still be able to get Lily can the break over it. But, hmm. If Lily does attack and there's like a magic cylinder. Or a burn card here will just seal the deal, right? Yeah. Last wills out of the hands. Well, I guess secret barrel is not enough. You're right, it's not. Oh. Secret barrel will be enough after he draws, though, right? No. 100 off. Yeah. Level limit's great. Um, it's going to chip yeah, in for so 400, cool. so it's going to turn that snatch yield into gaining 600 every turn instead of 1,000. Because SDL can't activate the Lily's effect. It's too low in life. Already used an MST and a already used a Nomen of Extermination. So SDL could find a heavy storm to out that level limit. Could also find Breaker the Magical Warrior. Or some side deck spice in Chiron the Mage. And there's Royal Decree. So that should signal a push here. Potentially. Yep. Gyron the Mage. That has to go to defense. Yeah. But that's still lethal damage. And yeah, exactly. Goes to... to gets rid of the no moment of extermination another side deck card for level limit area B. Going to try to pick that up. And I can't imagine a single card that saves Biffer here. Mm, it's not looking too good. And there we go. A combination of side deck cards from SDL Killa to seal up this grand finals here. Great games all around today. Congratulations to SDL Killa. Congratulations to the rest of our, our top four for qualifying to the GOAT Format World Championships, but to SDL Killo especially for winning GOAT Format Championship number 10 with his Chaos Warrior deck list. Um, I'm going to head off now, uh, but thanks for commentating and, of course, everyone for taking part, etc. Yeah, thanks for joining us on the mic. And thanks for everybody watching in the chat. 58 viewers, it looks like. Around that. If you're interested 
in GOAT format. Check out GOATformat.com. There is a Discord server where we talk about GOATs, find games, play GOATs, and where we host these tournaments and run them. Unfortunately, this was the last chance qualifier for the Go Format Championship, or Go Format World Championship, sorry, um, that GoFormat.com is going to be running. I believe Format Library, affiliated Discord, is uh, going to be running one as well. Or, or a Format Library Championship, they're going to be running one in early October. The winner of that will be invited to the Go Format World Championships as well. So if you still are interested in trying to qualify, play in the next Format Library Championship or Go Format, and you may have your, uh, your invite if you win. But for us, we will be back next time uh, for the Go Format World Championships. Currently over $300 in prizes. And uh, it's going to be a star-studded tournament. The uh, top players from GOAT formats, past and present, are all going to be dueling to determine the first ever GOAT format world champion. So it should be a uh, should be really, really good tournament. Should be a lot of fun to watch, a lot of fun to play in for the players as well. Uh, so with that, my name's Mascus. I'm going to be heading out for you. Anything uh, you want to say, Lucas? <laughs> no, I'm just here hanging out, ah, okay. uh, listening in real time. Uh, thanks for everyone watching. Thanks to everyone competing. Uh, and thanks to GoatFormat.com for running these events. I had a blast, and I think many of the other players did as well. Yeah, and, and congratulations again to you for, uh, for topping this tournament. Thank you. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we should have the, the deck list out. I don't know when, but soon, maybe. Uh, and uh, everyone can take a look at them on GoFormat.com and uh, the Discord as well. So uh, thanks to all the viewers for hanging out today. Thanks for all the viewers who were here yesterday as well for the, uh, the majority of the tournament. And uh, we'll, see ya, we'll see you in October for the World Championships. You guys have a good one and stay safe.